Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Medieval Engineers on the Radio Man 03. It is awesome to have you along. I think I got it this time. Third time's the charm. That's what they say. I believe it. Hope you guys are doing great. I'm doing fantastic. Take a look here. I think I've got it worked out. You guys cued me up on something. Actually, it was the episode where you guys said that this this support here was out of place. And so I got that fixed. I thought, yeah, they're bada boom, bada bing, but I forgot. Um, you mentioned also that when I put this post in, what I did was I looked at this block right here and put it in. No, I looked at this block over here and put it in, or here, one of this one here. So it wasn't sitting in the right place, and that's why this fence was not installing properly, this railing. <sighs> what do you think? What do you think? I think it looks better. It looks much better with that rail. Just coming in from the side like that, I think it looks so much better. So thank you for keeping track radio. I know. Lose my head if it wasn't attached. Uh, if you look at the upper hand, left hand corner, I've got a tutorial up that I thought we took care of already. Let's go to G. Uh, is it economic engineering? This is the food. Uh, or if I take ownership, basic housing, terracotta, smithing, deluxe, transportation, weaving, strings, attached mechanical sawmills, fine cuisine. Uh, why do I have a food tutorial up? I'm not quite sure on that one. Uh, let's see. Food tutorial. Warmth and joy. I don't want to abandon this quest either. One of you warned me about doing that. It might stop me from getting other blocks open. We've not, I've not done all the tutorials just yet. But the food, to food tutorial. Warmth and joy. I'm pretty sure that's like way at the very beginning. Where I have to crap, cra crap a campfire. Craft a campfire and place a campfire. So I'm just going to hide that for now. And we'll see what happens. I've had weird things happen when I come in for the game. One, two, three, four. Right now, everything seems to be working pretty good. Uh, I'm working behind the, the house here on the, the flax farm. Now, the flax farm, we're going to use for a couple of different farms at, at the beginning here. Uh, nothing. What? Okay, here we go. Here we go. Don't you tell me I've got nothing in these chests? Wait a second. Okay. Apparently, I don't have much in the chest. Let's go out the back door of the, uh, the workers' quarters here. Mm -hmm. All right, let's go inventory. Let's craft a torch. Uh, craft, please. Here we go. I'm putting up a bit of a fencing around the outside. And I really like this stick fence. It looks really awesome. I love it. And we're going to have this around the farm here. And I'll take you inside. I'll show you. I've, I've kind of made it so that we can actually, actually go in here. And uh, boop, have room to walk around a little bit, too. I've got torches placed around it also. Just so it's a little bit brighter out here for us. Because I don't go off and play all by myself and then bring you back in and, and you know, do that. I, I let you guys see just about everything. We left off in the last episode. And uh, we're back again just about pretty much where we left off where the sun was going down. So here's our farm. We've got this going for us. And uh, it's, it's ready to rock and roll. So we're going to have, you know, food coming in. Let's go number five. Let's finish closing this off. Just in case for some reason we happen to get barbarians in here. Uh, come on now. There we go. Uh-huh. No, no. There, there, there it is. That's it. That's the one. That's the one I'm looking for. A little too close. A little too close. Uh, and I think here, yeah, let's grab these sticks out of the way just so we can see a little bit better. I think that's probably good right there. Well, no, 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 no. Let's, let's go one more. Like that. There we go. That's gonna work. That's going to give us a little bit of room on the inside of the farm to walk around it and, and do the pushing that we have to do at the beginning here. Boop. Boop. Hey, tree. You want to be part of this tree? Huh? I think that tree wants to be part of this. I'm more than happy to let that tree stay right there and be part of it. It looked great to have the fence attached to the, the, uh, the tree. And I believe this is actually on the other side here. Uh, yeah, that's over here. And we're going to come down this side here, too. So you can see, I'm going to have a little causeway here that I'll be able to, to walk through and, you know, you know, take stock of things here at the farm. Mm -hmm. Then we'll have a separate farm uh, here on this back, this back 40 here, so to speak, the back 40. We'll have a different farm for the wheat, and then we can rotate crops in and out of it as we want to go. We don't have to have one crop plot for every single crop. Oh my gosh, the tree's going to be there. I love it. I love the tree there. Oh, watch it. Ronan, swing that hammer right, son. Don't let me down. Don't embarrass me in front of the people. Oh, look at the 
this. Look at this. Look at this construction happening. It's just so oh, it's just so fast, so sexy. He swings that steel hammer. Uh, let's see. Did we place this about right too from the back door? Uh, yeah, look at that. That looks great. See what that simple fence does? You know what it does? It blocks it off. It's not going to stop a barbarian. If a barbarian does show up, it's not going to stop for very long. But hopefully time enough for me to notice up on the compass that there's a red sword going on. Because that's what happens when they attack. You've got the red cross swords up on your, uh, your compass that show that something is being broken or attacked. Uh, so, and, and I'm horrible at noticing stuff like that. I really am. But... Nevertheless, we've got a little something that's going to block him in. And what's nice about this fence, too, that I really like about this fence, is that you can see through it. So it's like you, you block it off, but at the same time, you can see through and what's going on. So I can just look and say, hey, ah, crops are ready. Come on here, roll it back, fix it. Now, some of you are like, why didn't you build the, the, uh, the circular uh, weed farm? And the farms that... Uh, spin in a circle well because it's been done a lot and i don't want to be the same as everybody else i want to have my own thing so that's why i decided i'd go with the carts besides that the cart's pretty fun to build not that that's not a, a great farm it's a, it's a great farm and it's probably fun to build but you know i wanted something different so i got the tracks and the carts and stuff like that so here we go you know we've got the flax plants and i mentioned earlier a couple episodes back when we started this whole thing in this endeavor over here with the flax i don't care if i'm using an entire bag of flax to make linseed oil. I really don't care. The well, last thing I want to do is go one, two, three, count to nine, and then save the bag. just irritates me. It doesn't irritate me, but it's like, it doesn't need to be done. I can just plant a bunch of flax and then use it. And it doesn't take long to grow. I think by this next day when the sun comes up, since we're, I, I think we're still on like the winter solstice or something, uh, when it, the next day comes up, we'll still have, you know, we'll have a bunch. We'll plant more and boom, it's good to go. Matter of fact, I think after this crop of flax, I want to get some wheat going. So I'm probably going to plant, uh, I would say, probably three, six, nine bags of wheat. God, do I have nine bags of wheat? I don't even know. That's probably something I should have in my inventory just in case. But look at that. See, now we can see what's going on and stuff. I've changed my mind. I want to be able to walk up here like this. Let's go G. Let's grab our flooring piece real quick. I don't think I have any planks on me. Z. Z. Yeah, I don't have any planks. Let's get some planks. Let's get some plankage. It's right up here in the uh, workers' quarters. Um, yeah, I'm not going to do a, a walk over the top of it and stuff like that. I, I, I'm pretty sure I'll be able to reach everything. I'll find a way to do it comfortably. But, uh, you know, it's it's just me. And uh, I, I don't need anything really fancy. I really don't. Um, I'm, I'm pretty happy with keeping things looking medieval. <laughs> you know? I like it. I like the way it looks. See, so I can see through here. I can say, oh, yeah, crops are done. Crops are not done. Bam. Just like that. Just like that. It's a perfect world. It's a perfect world. Uh, well, you know, now that I say that, I'm kind of changing my mind here a little bit. Let's see something real quick. Oh, I got a good question right now. How the heck am I going to get out? <laughs> that is a really good question. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> okay, we're going to have to figure that out. All right, all right, all right, all right. I think if I do this here, up you go, up you go. If I do that there, and this across here, let's see, can I walk through here? No, I can't. And there's a chance that the cart might not fit underneath that either, so I'm not going to do that, but we do need to get a way out. Um, oh, you know what? We have these fantastic ladders. Uh, let's do that right there. Oh, look at that. Nice. There we go. There we go. Perfect. In and out. Awesome. Uh, you know what else we need up here? We need some we need uh, we need some rails. We need a little bit of railage going on. I think we I think we could use that uh, most definitely. Uh, Z. Like so. Let's do this here. Uh-huh. And that one there. Okay. We're going to do that there. And then also what I want is I want a barrel to put up there. So just, you know, it's always good to have some place to put things. And I think a barrel will look pretty sweet sitting up there as opposed to a box. So we're going to get a barrel. Let's, let's make a barrel. We may need to dip into our ores, which we do not have much ore left. I'm, I'm using the iron to make anything I want to make. I'm not too concerned about it. 
Uh, yeah, we're just about we're just about done. We're just about done with our ores here. Let's go ahead and drop that in here, and we're gonna craft one of these guys right here, and then we'll have what we need. I'll make some metal parts, and we can make a barrel. Boop. Time for some barrelage. Uh, oh, I've got to make the uh, what call it first. Metal parts, metal parts, metal parts, metal parts. Some of you mentioned you're enjoying kind of the laid back uh, episodes this season. Instead of it's like just racing to get everything done, we're, we're kind of taking our time and just kind of enjoying the game. I, I like that too. I I'm not a big racer. I like the, uh, I like taking my time. I do. Number six. Uh, let's check our box up here. Uh, we have more sticks up here. Um, sticks or sticks? Oh, okay. I'll take care of that uh, that pesky quest on my own. Oh, speaking of, let's, let's let's drop that off in there. Dirt and what was in this one again? Some stone. Let's just throw that in there too. Okay, yeah, we got a barrel. I know I have some wheat seeds. Oh, you know what? I bet they're out in the uh, grist mill. Let's go take a look and see. Dun 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 dun! Oh, I see a deer coming this way. Let's go on in here and see if we've got some uh, some wheat. Oh, oh my! We don't. We got a little bit of flax in here, but I think that's it. I like to see all those full of flax. That would be awesome. And then we, you know, what we need in here too is some shelves to put uh, linseed oil jars on. Yeah, that'd be cool. Speaking of linseed jar oils, that gives me an idea. You know what we're going to need nearby this business right here is, is the business that makes the clay jars and everything that is clay and cooked clay. I think I might put that across the street from here. We need something on this side of the street. Don't you agree? Just to start giving us that kind of that village feel as we walk down the road. I think so. I think so. I do believe that uh, is something we need. What was I doing? Uh, oh, I'm looking for wheat. Yeah, I'm looking for wheat stuff. I've got to have wheat somewhere. That's a buck. Do I have any bolts on me? I have a bolt. I think it just takes one, right, to kill him? Got him. <laughs> I know it's dark. It's dark. Get, get up. Get up. Put put that away. Inventory. Make another torch. Don't worry. We'll have light back again here in just a second. There we go. Oh, yes. It was a mighty buck. He's dead. Killed him. There's a big old deposit of tin right here. I'm not going to dig it up because it's just going to put a big old hole in the ground. I could cover it up with dirt, but then we're just going to have this dirt patch with no grass on it. So I don't want to do that. Uh, that's another thing I hope the game comes eventually is the, the ability to put the earth back to uh, uh, a better look to it. Don't lose your game. Can I access your inventory yet? I'm still not uh, quite fixed with this yet here, huh? Deer is still uh, broken for their hitbox or whatever we're looking for. Sometimes you get left mouse button, right mouse button, hit F to pick up and this and that. So how are your guys' worlds coming along? Forget about this one. How, how are yours coming along? You still working on them? Did you get bored? Oop. You know, let me know. Let me know. Oh, yeah. Antlers and hide. Mm-mm-mm. Delicious. Because <laughs> that's what we eat. Antlers and hide. Uh, let's go inside the house here and see if there's some wheat. I know I've got... Oh, man. Where, you, know, you know what? It is in the house. I've got all the food items in the house, in the kitchen. We have some uh, hodgepodge here on the shelf, as you can see. I love how this this cooker, when it cooks the food, anything that can't fit in the first slot, it starts to spill out over the sides in different areas, like up here and then down there. Very, very cool. Very cool. Okay, so we've got some cabbages. I think I have... Do I have any seed bags? I got two wheat seed bags. Okay, I think that's all the wheat I might have, too. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I turned the rest of it into what you would call it, huh? So let's do that. Let's grab this right here. Let's go inventory. Let's make up a couple of those. Uh, one more, please. There we go. And let's throw those back in there. And we're gonna we're gonna grow a, a few things in this next thing. Uh, this next 
crop round just because. I could have sworn I had some cabbage things. I think I planted them. I, I'm pretty sure I planted them. Once again, pumpkins are very elusive this season. Mm hmm. It's okay. No big deal. Do that right there. And we got two wheat, two, full, two uh, herbs, two cabbages. And then we'll make a couple of flaxes and we'll be good to go. I think I can throw the meat right in here. Uh-huh. And we're going to need a tanner. A tannery in town. Let's see, how's the fence look from here? Can't really see it. You go out the back door though, I bet you can. Billy! Supper's ready! <laughs> Billy. I don't know why I go with Billy, but I don't know. It just sounds good, I guess. Yeah. See, so what we'll do is we'll take this this crop farm and we will turn it into a multi-purpose crop farm to begin with. And then what I would like to do is I would like to build another one kind of right over here. Not right up next to it, but kind of over here. Another one. Probably the same size for just wheat. And then we've got just the flax one. And then every now and again, if we were like, oh, we're getting short on cabbage, we just take one, turn it into cabbages. If we're short on pumpkins, which we have none right now, we just make pumpkins and... You know, we do that. So I think that's going to work out pretty good. I think that'll work out really great. Uh, we had a barrel. We had a barrel. Number six. And we're going to throw these seeds in there. So we've got these ready to go on uh, the next time we get an opportunity to plant stuff. Let's go cabbages. That. <laughs> Herbs. Herbs. And there we go. I don't have another barrel in my inventory. Get out of there. Jeez, that's weird, isn't it? Yeah, there's a, there's a few weird things going on right now. I didn't notice an update this week, but you know, I don't know that I paid that close attention either. Um, where am I going to put this stuff? I'll throw that in there, and then we've got a, a, a hide that we need to actually put on the, uh, whatchamacallit. So the tannery, as of last season, what you guys told me is the tannery was a pretty foul-smelling business. Because take let's let's face it, you're taking hide, you're scraping the meat off of the hide, uh, you're cooking the hide up and these chemicals and stuff, so it's not going to smell very good. Uh, so maybe yeah, we got to find a place to put something like that, and then we've got to get this going too. We need to rework how big this area is and what it's going to look like. Um, what I've been running through my head is that this will come down right here. And what we're going to do is, since I've been digging straight back in this tunnel, is I'm thinking about extending this straight back. And, of course, we'll shape the tunnel the way it needs to be to, you know, be able to allow uh, uh, some carts to go through here. But I would love to be able to put um, some stone in carts and roll them forward and have them come out here uh, on a platform. Oh, you know what we should do? We should put our bed in our house. Let's do that. Boop. Where's my, uh... Oh, it's in the it's in the, the workers' quarters. My wardrobe. Have them roll out here and stop... Well, I probably right where this gate is right here. You know, uh, have it come out this far. Maybe out to about this distance right here. So we could have five or six carts that would line up along here. And then uh, we'll have a bunch of stone stockpiled. And then inside this wall, it's going to be like our quarry. Inside this wall, we'll put a bunch of uh, large stone stockpiles. We'll be able to fill them up, roll the carts back, and keep digging. And then we can dig tunnels off of this, this main path down into the mountain on each side. And have uh, we'll get uh, clay as well. So that's going to be a nice thing. Stone and clay out of here. Which the clay, of course, would be then sold to... Uh, what would you call the person with the kiln? Um, person with the kiln that was really good with the pottery and stuff like that. What would, what would that person be? I don't know. I don't know. I'm not good at that medieval stuff, but you guys are amazing at it. I know that for sure. Um, pottery master? Um, pottery master. I have no idea. It snowed today. <laughs> it snowed really hard today. I forgot about an inch of snow on the ground. I mean, that's not a lot of snow, but it's more than we've had in a long time. And we've got this wildfire burning right now in the state that actually has destroyed uh, 30 homes. 30 homes. What was it caused from? Oh, I'll give you three guesses. Uh-huh. Someone's campfire. Yeah. 
someone's campfire. They walked away from it while it was burning. And uh, it took off because we had really strong winds. And it burnt up a wash and into a neighborhood. And 30 people now, at least 30 families, no longer have homes because the fire burnt them to the ground. All that's left is the chimneys. So there you go. So now starting this coming Friday, you cannot have a fire in the forest at all because of that. Yeah. Pretty sad. But I do these every year. These stories I do every single year. We need this too. Uh, wood, timber. I don't have any linen string, do I? I bet I don't have string on me. Let's get some linen string. We're going to put this up. Uh, bump, bump, bump. We're kind of all over the board today. I know. Oh, I need flax. I need some flax. Just taking you with me. I'm strolling around. You know, this is what I do when I'm thinking to myself, what am I going to do with the game? What am I going to do with the next build? Where is it going to be? What's it going to look like? This is the kind of stuff I do, and then I think about it the whole time. And right now, what's running around in my head is the... Uh, well, the lumber mill is one thing. Lumber mill's the one thing. I feel like we're going to use more wood than stone in this this kind of startup here because we've just, you know, we've got a little town going here. But I think the lumber mill back there would look really nice. So do you guys want to start on the lumber mill next? I'm kind of itching to uh, get it going because we're really going to... We don't want to go in there. We're, we need to get it going so we can have a steady supply of timber and planks and logs as well, you know. So I would like to uh, probably get that going next. It's going to be kind of a big project. It was just the one linen, right? I can tell me there. Let's see. Uh, number five. Uh, linen, timber, wooden sticks. I think I've got everything I need. Beautiful. Let's go upstairs. These are our quarters now, so they might as well start looking like our quarters. Let's go number five. See? You won't go back there, huh? Okay, I see. I see how you are. I won't go there either. Okay, what about on the balcony? Ooh, this might look kind of cool sitting on the balcony. Meeting of great minds, you know. Oh, I think it'll go right here. Z? Oh, wow, that, that would be kind of cool out here, huh? I needed four linen strings. Is that right? Four? Four. Let's make a few more of those. I did not notice that, obviously. Uh, two, three. Oh my god, are you kidding me? <laughs> okay. I'm shy. I'm shy a little bit. I wonder if we could still get into it and utilize it, even though we don't have everything we need. Do we need that torch anymore? I don't think so. We're inside. Come on. What are you doing? Oh, I can do it. Okay. Awesome. Oh. Hmm. It doesn't give me everything. I don't think. Wait, 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 wait. Before I do that, hold on. This gets me every time. Here we go. I was thinking. Let's go that route right there. go back to that. Let's go up to here. And I was thinking the stag. Just because we have so many deer around here. I kind of like that idea. Let's, let's change the color too. Uh, what color do we want it to be? Let me go down here on this end a little bit. Sure. Did 
deluxe owner reward. There we go. Let's do that. <clears throat> if you got it, flaunt it. Let's do this here. And let's go with a green. A dark green. There's the green. Let's let's get it dark. I don't know if I like the stag as being red though. You know, I kind of think that he should be kind of a brownish color almost. Maybe we can do that by That just that just blurs him right out. Okay. He's there. Okay, let's go see how that looks. I mean, we could do it right here, too, I guess. We could look at it right here. That's what it looks like. You guys can tell me what you think, what you want to do. I'm a little surprised I could do that with, by missing one linen string in there, but apparently it is okay to do that. I'm a little surprised. While we walk over here, you know, we'll look at it. I want to get a couple of shelves put into the, uh, the grist mill, too. Just so I've got a place to put linseed jar. Linseed jars. Yeah. Not too bad. Not too bad. Let me get that out of the way so you can see it. I, don't know, I would I would prefer it to be a little more brown, I think. The deer. But, you guys tell me what you think. Alright, just tell me what you think. Open sesame. Close the sesame. Let's take a look at shelves. Uh, what do I need for a couple of shelves? Shelves, shelves, shelves. There we go. Beautiful. Awesome. Exactly what the doctor ordered. And then I can... Do I have any jars? Oh, we can make some. Let's go... Is it shift? Double click? Gives me ten. Let's do that right there. Let's get ten of those guys going. And then I'm going to put those in there. And then when I need linseed oil, just run over there. Because we should be able to make some after this next... Uh, well, we'll probably have to do a few more batches of... Uh, flax get it going a little bit better and then we'll be able to, to uh, start kind of making uh, a bunch of extra to have linseed oil just sitting on shelves and stuff like that oh boy you're gonna cook a little bit aren't you it's gonna take a little bit I'll be right back and we're back Didn't take as long as I thought I made 15 jars 15 we're almost out of clay but no big deal we'll just get some more just dig up some more that's all you gotta do Grisma looks nice. I like it. I like how it turned out. Kind of this uh, double building look to it. Uh, fills up the street a little bit nicely, you know, without with uh, two different looking structures that kind of function as one. Uh, yep. Mm-hmm. And can we move this down a little bit? Sure. Right there. So, yeah, we've got snow today, which is just... Absolutely fantastic, because we really need it so badly. And uh, it's helping to put those fires out. Don't know if I mentioned it. It's just kind of weird to have snow falling in May, and so much of it at the same time. It's just so much of it. So there we go. A little linseed oil action going on there. The grist mill, I'm really happy with how it looks. I really am. I think uh, I th it, was a, it was a fun to build, and I'm looking forward to doing more of these smaller, kind of quick builds that serve a purpose, but they don't have to be these massive, huge, gigantic structures. Dear. <laughs> uh, the sun's coming up. Ooh. <clears throat> Anything else? We're waiting on Flax to finish up the build rack. How's that look upstairs? On the balcony. Oh, that looks pretty cool up there. I like that. Okay. Let's go check the crop and see how it's doing. Ooh, we're gonna have some wheat right here coming in. Giddy up. I gotta go out on an iron, an ore run, because uh, we're out of that. So next episode, we might be doing a little bit of, a uh, little bit of grind. I think we're gonna head out and go up over the top of the mountain here and see what we can find: copper, tin, that sort of thing. I want to get more of that, and then we could probably stop over that iron spot and get some more iron as well. But there it is; it's coming in. It's coming in. This ladder works out just great. I love this. So great. Yeah. All right, guys. 
that is all I got time for. Next episode will be in the sun, at least for a portion of the episode. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, do hit that like button for me. Comment, subscribe, and share on the Radio Man 03. Have an awesome, fantastic, and a superb day. And I look forward to talking to you again next time. <laughs>